Hi, everyone. I'm Nathaniel Kinninger, and I'm a principal at Boston Consulting Group in Mexico City. As a management consultant, I work to solve some very difficult problems that our clients have. And my specific specialty is within industrial goods. So I work with a lot of clients here in Mexico that are trying to redefine their strategy, um, potentially looking at mergers and acquisitions, um, and all within the realm of you know, large industrial players, um, many of whom you probably likely know, <laughs> can't disclose those, but um, you know, very, very happy with the career decision that I've made. Why did I choose this career? Um, so I was originally, you know, a, um, I was originally in the Kelly School of Business from 2007, 2011. As part of that, I was part of the consulting workshop. I really was interested in consulting from an early time in my career at Kelly. So right after undergrad, I went into consulting at Bain. I was there for two years in Chicago, but always had this itch to go to Latin America. It wasn't possible for me to do so with Bain, so I actually made the switch to PepsiCo, um, and I went to their strategy and m and team for Latin America based in Miami. I was based in Miami for two years, uh, working on that team, had a great time, got to travel throughout the region. And then in 2015, my boss asked if I'd be interested in, in taking an expat position in one of three countries, one of which was Mexico. And I said, yes, definitely. So I, in 2015, I moved to Mexico City uh, with PepsiCo and I spent a year here uh, working with them on their finance and strategy team and loved the country. I, I love the job as well, but actually decided that, you know, I would be more interested and actually better off getting my MBA. So after my one year in Mexico, I went and studied my MBA at INSEAD in France. And during that time, actually, BCG, Boston Consulting Group, contacted me um, and asked me if I was interested in working for them back here in Mexico. Um, I wasn't totally thrilled at the time, necessarily, about going back to consulting, but at least I knew what it was. And I was more than thrilled, though, about coming back to Mexico. And so in August of 2017, I came back to Mexico to work at, um, at BCG and have been here ever since. My career obviously has a global component given that I'm based here in Mexico City. I'm originally from Brownsburg, Indiana, so it's not totally logical that I would end up here in Mexico, but I would definitely say that Indiana University and the Kelly School of Business really played an integral part in making that transition happen. So while I was at Kelly, I was a legal studies major, uh, but I also had a major in the College of Arts and Sciences in both economics and Spanish. And so given that kind of broad background of things that I studied in undergrad, it was really uh, helpful for me to land this position in the end. Um, and I was really supported, I was really supported by cyber you know, at the time uh, when I did uh, various case competitions, one of them being a Spanish language case competition uh, back at Brigham Young in 2010. As part of my role, you know, as a consultant at BCG, I obviously have to speak Spanish. Um, so, you know, that's been critical to my success here um, in Mexico. And I am you know, very happy that I actually spent a lot of time, you know, even majoring in it while I was an undergrad at IU. So going to the question about what skills did I develop as a student that have been useful for my career, I think you know, one, definitely Spanish, given that I use it on a daily basis here. But from more of a business side, I think it was really useful for me to have spent time um, kind of learning both hard and soft skills within the business school. And so you know, getting a lot of time to practice presentations, um, whether that's written or verbal presentations, but then also you know, some of the more kind of quant heavy classes were really useful later on, um, you know, as I became a consultant was expected to know how to you know, create valuation models. Um, but also, you know, as a supervisor now, I manage, you know, two teams at this current point, you know, I manage, you know, several individuals and, you know, I'm also very heavily involved in recruiting for BCG in Mexico. And, you know, we look for well-rounded individuals to join the firm. But I think, you know, one of the things that I especially look for when I have a new member joining my team is just really that tenacity to continue pushing and that curiosity as well. Our job involves a lot of trying to figure out answers to very ambiguous questions. And so the answer is never clear at the outset. And many times throughout a project or even just throughout the day, you know, a, a new employee will find themselves stuck. And so really for me, it's, you know, imperative that that individual 
try to find the best route out of getting stuck. And so being very proactive, kind of coming up with different ways they might you know, approach the problem, even though they might not have the perfect answer is really, really critical for me. And so obviously critical thinking is, you know, a skill that's greatly important in the job, but also that tenacity to push and to think through what could be an alternative way to reach a solution and aligning that quickly with me. I think also, you know, looking now at all the individuals that were hiring at BCG, and I can't speak for the firm, but, you know, as someone who is involved in recruiting, you know, I do think it is interesting how, you know, as a firm, we shifted to, you know, being much more inclusive of all backgrounds, I would say, over the past 10 years, and with a very specific focus on gathering more digital talent. And so, you know, as we're looking to, to grow the firm over the coming years, finding individuals who actually have technical skills is something that's critically important. And so something I wish I had studied back in the day, and, you know, now it's, you know, more difficult, you know, as a manager, not having had those hard skills, you know, from the outside, you know, was, you know, would be something within information technology. And so I, you know, would definitely encourage, you know, students that are interested in that field, you know, to be definitely broaden their perspectives and consider consulting as well, because it's a great alternative, uh, or it's a great career choice for someone interested in information technology. Let's see, anything else? So I guess just to recap, you know, Really, really thankful for everything that IU did for me. Yeah, now more than 10 years ago, and I really would encourage students with an interest in an international career to pursue it. IU is a great place to pursue your passions and to really think about what you want later on down the road. And I think an international career is something that's feasible for everyone, but definitely requires a lot of maneuvering to get there. So definitely use all of the tools that are available at IU and at the Kelly School of Business to make that happen.